So the new K&M Crusher arrived. I got it put on a stand. I'm going to fire it up here in a minute. This is what the inside looks like. The big chains. Check all this is tight. The wrench. Here's the little screen. I've got a hose hooked up. I bought the extra kit for the hose that goes to this thing. The Oneida, Oneida Dust Deputy. That hooks up just to a bucket and cut a hole in the top. And then I got it run over to the uh, shop vac. So the shop vac to this cyclone thing. So it should be dustless. This material is from a mine out by Dugway, Utah. It's very weathered diorite with a lot of pyrite in it. The black there could be silver, silver or lead. Let's hope for silver. So the plan is to try to get all this crushed up. It's not super hard. Okay, so that's after running it just for a few minutes with some of the rocks, the diorite, it turns it into powder. So I broke up. The rest to almost fit in. It's, since it's weather diorite, I can break it pretty easy into pieces that fit. Okay, so this is what we ended up getting here is uh, almost half a bucket of minus 200. Uh, these were a little big and uh, I figure I have enough now to get a good sample. If it's good, I'll come back and do the rest of these. Okay, so next step is run this through the gold cube. In theory, you do not have to make this wet. So I'm gonna just feed it right in the gold cube. I did add some jet dry and I do have the air bubbles out of the mat. Yeah, so what I do is I use the same black mortar tub and I put the gold cube mats in there and I'll just wash them out with this. Then I just spray everything everywhere. I'll get it all washed down, we'll get it in that pan and we'll roast it. A lot of stuff up there. A lot of shiny black sand stuff. So I really had to crank it up to get up to the right temperature, 550. Never saw any sulfur dioxide, but this should make for a much better, cleaner smell without the bubble over. All right, so I ended up with 106 grams of the material that we're gonna smelt. So I'm gonna add equal amounts of borax and sodium carbonate and half that amount 
of silicon dioxide. All right, so I did 100 grams of borax, about 75 grams of sodium carbonate, maybe 50 grams of silicon dioxide. I threw a tablespoon of fluorospar in there and about 50 grams of litharge. I'm gonna mix it up and we'll get it in the kiln. All right, so it's mixed. I just lit the kiln and we'll go set this in here. See how much the prill weighs. It's only 18 grams. All right, so I got the little lead prill in the coupel here. I'm gonna put it in the tabletop kiln. There it is, it's all done. Microscopic little bead. Crucible broke when I tried to pick it up and take it out, but there's a tiny little bit of gold there.